Adan Kanto, an actor best for his work in popular TV shows such as Designated Survivor and The Cleaning Lady. His other popular roles are Paul Torres on the Fox drama series The Following and A.J. Menendez in the ABC primetime series Blood and Oil. He also worked in the movie X-Men, Days of Future Past. Canto died on 8th January 2024. He died of cancer at the age of 42. If we talk about Canto's love life, he is survived by his wife, Stephanie Ann, Canto and their two children. Glynis Johns, who was a Tony winner British actress, best known for her work in movies and TV shows such as Mary Poppins, A Little Night Music, and The Sundowners. With a career spanning more than 60 years, the British actress appeared in dozens of films and was also an accomplished theater performer. Glynis died on the 4th of January 2024 and died of natural causes at the age of 100. Peter Burkos was an Oscar-winner American sound editor, popular for his work on movies like The Hindenburg, Slapshot, and The Great Waldo Pepper. Since retiring as an editor in 1987, Burkos has reinvented himself as a novelist, publishing two books between 2007 and 2013. Peter passed away on January 2, 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 101. Don Reed, who was an American football coach, popular for his work with teams like Montana Grizzlies, Portland State Vikings, and Oregon Ducks. He retired after leading the Grizzlies to their first national title in 1995. Don died on the 3rd of January 2024 and died of natural causes at the age of 90. Mickey Cottrell, who was an American film publicist and actor, best known for his work in movies like My Own Private Idaho, Volcano, and Ed Wood. He worked as a film producer on Chain of Desire and Shelf Life. Cottrell died on the 1st of January 2024. He died of complications from Parkinson's disease at the age of 79. Frank Ryan was an American football player and is being remembered for playing alongside teams like the Los Angeles Rams, Cleveland Browns, and Washington Redskins. Frank helped Cleveland Browns to the 1964 NFL Championship, throwing three second-half touchdowns in that victory. In his off-season, he pursues a doctorate in mathematics. In Cleveland, while playing for the Browns, he taught math at the Case Institute of Technology and later at Yale and Rice. Frank died on the 1st of January 2024. He died of complications from Alzheimer's disease at the age of 87. Ryan donated his brain to a research center studying head injuries in sports. The center investigates CTE, a condition similar to Alzheimer's, resulting from repeated head hits in games like football. Cale Yarborough was an American Hall of Fame racing driver and founder of Cale Yarborough Motorsports and three-time NASCAR Cup Series champion. With 83 wins throughout his career, Yarborough ranks fifth of all time in NASCAR history. Cale died on the 31st of December 2023 at the age of 84. No cause of death is revealed yet. Shecky Green was an American stand-up comedian known for his several appearances and guest hosting gigs on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, on which he appeared on more than 60 occasions. He also worked in movies like History of the World Part 1, Splash, and Tony Rome. Shecky died on the 31st of December 2023. He died of natural causes at the age of 97. Tom Smothers was an American comedian and actor who was wildly known as half of the musical comedy duo The Smothers Brothers, alongside his younger brother Dick. Their CBS show The Smothers Brothers and later The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour were landmarks in television history. Tom died on the 26th of December 2023, and he died of lung cancer at the age of 86. John Pilger was an Australian documentary filmmaker, popular for his documentaries such as Year Zero, The Silent Death of Cambodia, Death of a Nation, and The Secret Country, The First Australians Fight Back. He was known for his investigative journalism and dedication to uncovering social and political issues worldwide. John died on the 30th of December, 2023. His long-term partner, journalist Devon Roberts, and his two daughters, Sam and Zoe, survive him. Tom Wilkinson was a BAFTA-winner British actor known for his remarkable performances across film, television, and theater. 
His most popular work was in movies such as The Full Monty, In the Bedroom, and Michael Clayton. For his leading role in The Bedroom, he received his first Academy Award nomination in 2002. He won an Emmy for playing Benjamin Franklin in the 2008 miniseries John Adams. Tom died on the 30th of December 2023. He died at the age of 75 with no known cause of death that is revealed yet. Lee Sun Kyun was a South Korean actor, popular for his work in movies such as My Mister, Parasite, Paju, best known for his role in the Academy Award-winning film Parasite. Lee died on the 27th of December, 2023. He took his own life by carbon monoxide poisoning. At the time of his passing, the 48-year-old actor was under police investigation for suspected illegal drug use. He is survived by his wife, actress Jeanne Haijin, and their two sons. Patricia Ferreira was a Spanish film director and screenwriter, popular for her work in movies such as I Know Who You Are, The Wild Ones, and The Impatient Alchemist. Ferreira died on the 27th of December, 2023, at the age of 65. Bobby Rivers was an American television and radio personality, popular as the host of the Food Network's Top 5 show and VH1's Watch Bobby Rivers as a primetime celebrity talk show. Bobby died on the 26th of December, 2023, and died at the age of 70 with no cause of death that is revealed yet. Elsa Leistad was a Norwegian actress, popular for her work in movies and TV shows such as Hurrah for Andersen's Delig Er Fijorden and Smuggler. Elsa died on the 26th of December, 2023. She died of natural causes at the age of 93.